Hello everybody. While I was filming some segments for uh, an upcoming video for uh, a review of Draken, uh, the board game, I realized I never actually showed off uh, my finished painted uh, Draken minis from that board game. Uh, so I wanted to do that real quick um, just to get that out of the way and then when I'm done with the last little bit for the Draken board game I can just, I'm done with Draken. Um, <clears throat> I think the last thing we saw really was me just doing the the wash on on Draken. Um, so we'll start with Draken, and there he is finished. Um, pretty basic. I did the uh, a green theme, obviously. Um, he came out pretty well. Uh, doing the washes, a little bit of dry brush here and there. Um, I, I'm actually very like the way that the Draken's treasure came out. A shot on the shield. Um, the I don't know how well it shows up on the video. There's a little sword in his hoard of treasure, and a little treasure chest back here. The gold's actually uh, I did a base of Vallejo's uh, snake bite leather, and then I did a wash over that with uh, ogre and flesh. And then I did a dry, not really dry brushing, actually specifically an edge highlighting, I guess, on all the little coins with um, Games Workshop's burnished gold. And um, in this lighting, it might be a little bit too shiny, but uh, it looks really good. Um, I like the way that came out. Because uh, real gold itself tends to be kind of brown and it's not completely shiny and the only gold I had metallic is that burnished gold which is very shiny so uh, that worked out pretty well I like how he came out um, this guy's pretty pretty simple uh, something interesting I noticed I mean he was just mostly skin tones and then uh, some metal and, you know did the whole thing with a a, uh, a wash of uh, Devlin mud now, one thing that I found interesting is after doing my washes, when I these have all been sealed with a matte, um, a matte sealant. Uh, if you see on the back of the axe here, you see the, how the washing kind of looks like it pulled up. That wasn't like that before I put that sealant on, and it's almost as if the sealant. Uh, maybe I was putting it on too heavy. I I don't really know it. It's as if it kind of re-wetted the wash, and then it gathered up. Um, I've noticed that on a, a couple of the the minis that I've done. Uh, the boots were just uh, an, an earth brown with a, you can see a little bit of a, a highlighting on there of a, I think that was a snake bite leather. Um, just normal metallics on there. The, um, the white on here, that's actually just the white primer and then the Devlin mud on that. So, yeah, these two, these colors, um, I, I kind of was doing a theme since they are board game pieces. I wanted all the pieces to have kind of a unified color each, their own unified color. And these two colors were picked out by my daughters and my daughter, Cassandra, loves purple. So um, that's, uh, I believe, Warlock Games Workshop's colors and uh, Yellow is the contrast to purple, uh, so there's yellow and and some gold on there. Um, though these colors, I don't know thickness or something, they're kind of hard to work with. Um, you see how shiny that one came out, even though it is still done in the matte. Um, I have no idea what the contrast of pink is, so I really just kind of went with a. Um, black trim which works works real well and her really long ass shaft on that arrow that cracks me up she's an amazon uh this was the first mini i i did i can't remember straight out if uh i already had a video of him of course blue color scheme um it was just blue uh, vallejos uh, i can't even think of it off the top of my hand i mean it's, it's blue um and a uh, wash was just a basic about a black and then uh, went back over it again with lightened up the blue with a little bit of white did some highlights so again nothing 
too super fancy, but it's it's effective. Uh, and then we got the big warrior guy here. And when he's in focus, there you go. Um, this is probably my second most favorite mini. Wild Dragon's gold. I'm, that came out real well, but um, this guy obviously you can see I did red. I left um, the armor. I did this armor here. It's actually in a. Uh, I just took the brown, a basic brown, and it was very watered down. Um, so all this here is not. I guess you'd call it a wash because I just really watered it down and did that a couple times. Um, but it was, it's not something that was designed as a wash. Um, a little bit of chainmail silver on the boots. Uh, and then went over the whole thing with uh, uh, ogre and flesh on that. So, um, and the sword also, again, before putting the matte finish on that, had much more, uh, the grooves had more uh, wash in them, so they were a bit more defined in the, the carving on there, and that just kind of seemed to get pulled out. So I don't know if it's the, the one that I'm using or not. Uh, this guy is probably my favorite. Um, I don't know how well it shows up on the video. Oh, oh, first, you can actually see a little bit of the, what I was talking about with the other ones with the washes, where it just kind of re-pulled up and it was kind of strange, but... Um, I did kind of like a bronze on these little shields and on the bottom of his boots. Obviously, I went for a yellow um, with him. Uh, I don't know if it'll show up in the video because it is actually even a little bit hard to see in person. Can I get him that close? Uh, his hair is was black. And then I actually highlighted it with blue. Um, actually, you can see a little bit of it there. And it turned out really, really pretty good so um, I like I kind of like highlighting the black with blue a little bit it keeps it black and it's really how things tend to naturally look so um, but that's it that's my Draken board game figures uh, one of the first complete sets I ever painted uh, <laughs> I like to think of it that way it just makes it sounds like I've actually complete stuff uh, so I'll have that other video uh, up soon um, and actually if if I, I know a lot of people that are watching my channel right now are primarily have gotten here because of the the miniature painting uh probably mostly from from space hulk as well um i am planning on putting board game stuff up so i'm i'm curious i would like to see uh if you have any opinions on if you care that the board game stuff is mixed with the miniature stuff or if i really should maybe think about putting that in its in its own channel uh please put in comments and and let me know uh, what you think on that but um otherwise Thank you very much.